Hi, my name is Aleksandra Bzikot. I'm a coach and artist and I'm the founder of Plantation of Creativity. The place where from the seed to a plant, we help you to grow through creative methods of healing and coaching, especially in relationships. Because the truth is, we all need relationships. And today's video is gonna be about the balance, the balance between femininity and masculinity. So the two components that make and create one. Very often I am asked by, uh, by uh, women this question, why my man sits around, does nothing and I have to work hard, I need to work in two jobs and he's just relaxed, he sits, he's, he doesn't have any incentive to go further to the world and hunt for the, the so-called mammoth. Yes, this is the question. If you have a man around you who is sitting every day, I don't know, maybe not working, maybe working part time and uh, opening up a beer on the couch all day long, sitting, doing nothing, then something is definitely wrong. And it considers, yes, the balance. Usually um, opposites attract, right? Yin and yang. And if you have a man who is not working, bringing the mammoth to you and sharing something with you, just sitting around, laying around, doing nothing, well, nowadays men not necessarily need to bring the mammoth. It can be, well, they need to do, the, they need to bring him the meat. Yes, but they can do it in various ways, not necessarily by going to work. Maybe they work from home. Maybe they click on their computer and then 10,000 comes. Who knows? Today's world gives us so many options, but still, I would say the balance is about masculinity and fem femininity. And how can you tell that a man is masculine? Not by the way he dresses, not by the way he looks. No, the man shouldn't be looking in the mirror all the time oh, and saying how pretty I am. No. The thing is that masculinity means being the leader, being a man, not a woman. That's why we were created both, a man and a woman. Masculinity means taking decisions and being able to lead, dear ladies, yes. So answering the question from, the, from a couple of moments ago, why your man is sitting on the couch, doing nothing, lacking incentives, lacking inspiration, lacking motivation, he doesn't want to bring the mammoth or he brings small mammoths. And the answer is, first, look at yourself. What kind of woman are you? Are you working your ass off? Sorry for the expression. Are you working too much? Are you always the one who knows better? Are you always telling him what he should do and what he shouldn't do? Or are you always criticizing him? Now you wash the dishes in the wrong way. No, 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 they, they have some stains. I need to wash them again because it's not properly done. In what energies are you living? Do you live as a woman in feminine energies or do you live in masculine, aggressive, decisive energies? As I said before, the opposites attract. So if you have a man like this, for sure he's mirroring your image and your image is being a masculine woman. What does it mean? Where is the borderline? Where is the balance? What is femininity? We have, I told you a couple of words about masculinity, but what is the feminine energy? Feminine energy is passive, not in a standard sense of the world that it's just passive, you cannot do anything, you just sit around, you relax and the man comes, no. Man is more active, he's hunting the mammoth and bringing the mammoth to you, home. And then the woman enters. She takes the mammoth, like in old age. She cooks the soup from the skin. She makes some clothing. Yeah, from the, the other parts, I don't know, from the bones, she makes some candles, fancy candles for the ambience of the home. 
yeah? She creates. So she creates and of course she welcomes the man who comes with a mammoth. The bigger the mammoth, the more secure we women feel. So mammoth is about financial security as well. And of course, if a man is not bringing any mammoths, you have no financial security, no stability, and you're not sure what kind of man do you have next to you. Maybe it is a man living in feminine energies. But what kind of woman are you? Okay, feminine energy is passive. It's also about taking and accepting the man as he is and not stepping in his shoes, trying to do things better than him. I had a client and, uh, and she was like, they, they now have a small baby and, um, and she was like, she told me, you know, Alexandra, I just cannot stand the way he's putting the diaper on the kid because it's, it's never the, the, the good way, you know, he cannot match the diaper so that it closes appropriately and then I have to unzip it and unzip it and do it again. And then I tell her, would you like him that he does not do anything because this is what you're intending him to do. You're criticizing him because he does the things the wrong way. If you keep doing that, he will say, okay, I pass. I won't do it. You can put the diapers on and I will do something else. Yes, you made it as a woman by criticizing him and by not willing, able to give him space and time to learn maybe some things. So unless he puts a diaper on a child's face, then don't worry. If he puts it in the correct place, maybe not very well, let him do it. Otherwise, in the future, you're gonna do everything on your own. And this is the moment where your man will sit on the couch and relax, and just say, oh, you know what, she's doing everything, so why should I bother? Hmm? Why should I bother? She's keeping everything under control. She's hunting the mammoth. She's putting a diaper on our kid. She's taking her on the home. Oh, I can relax now. Yeah, you made it, woman. Yes. I know sometimes it's very difficult to notice it, that we don't live in feminine energies. And some of the women now may raise an argument, but come on, but if I sit still, he won't do anything. The thing is that if you sit still, if you allow him to do things the way he does them, if you encourage him to bring the mammoth, if you don't bring the mammoth yourself or do everything and act as, I don't know, cooker nanny, cook nanny, working on two shifts and just be a woman, relax, stand by your man, then you have bigger probability that he will do something because he will realize, yes, I have a family, I have my woman, but yeah, she's my woman. I need to, I need to sh bring the mammoth to her. You know, the balance. It's all about the balance. I'm not telling you women to quit your jobs and do nothing and sit around because your man will do everything. No. I'm telling you about the feminine energy, the energy that is not aggressive, the energy that is accepting and loving. And for you men who are watching it, I don't know, maybe there are some, some of you who do, I assume it's far more pleasant for you to have a woman by your side who is beautiful, who is not stressed by working on two shifts, who is accepting you the way you are and who gives you this inspiration by being a feminine woman, by being a, a woman that every man is dreaming of, beautiful, well taken care of, intelligent, funny, relaxed, supportive. Hmm? And we women, isn't our dream to, f to be able to fully relax by, by the side of your man who's hunting the mammoth, bringing the mammoth to you, showing his love and respect, making a secure spot, a secure place also financially for you and then inviting you in so that you spread the charm, the energy, the beauty 
and love to this place. Isn't it wonderful? Man is about external world. Woman is about internal. It's all about the balance, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you uh, in this video. I hope uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to write them down. And I'm sure this is quite a controversial topic, especially in the modern times. But I have seen it too many times not to, to just to have this, to be sure that, uh, that it works, that it really works. So first of all, when you have a man who is sitting on the couch, ask yourself a question about who I am, what am I doing, in which type of energies do I live? Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.